Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and to another video. Uh, today I'm you know I'm doing I'm keep doing the my trip on the on, on the bike and, uh, and I stop by this little bridge that used to used to be used by I don't know how long ago but it's a, it's a really nice place it's a really nice setup as you can see over here see I think they used to be like you know like oh shit like a dam it used to be a dam something like that because they used to be you know you can see these like a little bridges over here where they used to you know walk and you know cross or you know that's how that's how I, that's what i think they used to be you know i'm not sure or they used to be they used to use this river for when they were logging you know i'm not sure but uh, he reminds these these walls over here and I'm gonna take the, the chance to show you and review the the other hunter the other sister of this one this is the XS and uh, we're gonna see the the Victorinox hunter XT okay this is very similar to this one just one layer less and another few different tools of course so let's see the the tools on this one there like i say there they are very similar to the other one just few differences i hope you can hear me clearly because you know the waterfall over here is making a lot of noise but i'm trying to speak a lot you know a little bit louder than the normal hopefully it's not too loud but uh like we know you know you can see we know this one it's you know it's 111 millimeter long with the orange and black inlay scale with the victorinox logo in, in gray color it makes a, such a beautiful contrast i really like this kind of type of knife you know they make really good contrast so that's what it makes this a little bit different than the other ones. Of course, every knife is different. Yes, sometimes same tools, but the scales are, you know, they make the difference. But let's see the tools. As you know, we know this one is a one hand opening with a liner lock mechanism blocking system. Okay. We know it's a flat file. It doesn't have the serrated or, you know, or, or dented, whatever you want to call it. As we know, this one you can open, you can you can open it, you can open the the tool for with the with the left, but not so easy. It's more easy with the right hand. So there it is. Then next one, this one, it, that's what it's a little bit the difference is the woods. The woods on these knives are a beast. You know, cutting all types of wood. You know, if you take your time, you can do a lot of things with this one, with this wood saw. So here it is, you know, it's a nice saw. Uh, that's the difference from the other one. Then next one, we got the the main tool on this place, on this knife. You know that uh, the gutter tool, that the gutting, 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 whatever. You know, this is more more for when you want to open your. You know, you pray wherever you want, wherever you hunt it, kill it, whatever you want to harvest it. Well, this is more for when you open in the belly, and you don't want to, you know, cut the, the you know, the, oh, shit. I don't know how they call things or the guts, okay? Guts on the animal. So this is more for that. Supposed to be what designed for that. It's you know with a serrated blade, the, the completely serrated. The tip is obviously it's not with it's just round so it helps you a little bit more. Then on the next on the on the back, yes we got the instead of the core screw like this one, we got the Phillips screwdriver with a tip number two. As we know none of this one got uh, tools on the scales doesn't have either one the toothpick or the tweezers 
got the you know the the key ring so you can put you know like this one's little inlays but overall you know we got this few this this couple knives that they're really nice so there we have it guys hopefully you can hear me clear i'm apologize if it was too noisy but uh, you know let's appreciate the nature and take advantage you know just take a bunch or <clears throat> take advantage of the weather today because it was nice it's beautiful it's like a 65 degrees it's a perfect temperature to be outside you know running your bike you know hiking whatever you want to do it so thanks for for the support like always guys here we here are the two beautiful nights uh take care of yourself and i'll catch you next time bye